Moving on to our second pitch, Nimisha Mukherjee and her project, Tempest Storm, Burlesque Queen. <laughs> Nimisha Mukherjee is an award-winning director whose debut feature, 65 Red Roses, went on to win top prizes at film festivals around the world, including here at Hot Dogs. Her latest feature documentary, Blood Relative, won the Audience Award at the 2012 Vancouver International Film Festival. Nimisha, Nimisha is an alumni of TIFF Talent Lab and won the Fan Favorite Award at last year's RBC Emerging Filmmakers Competition here at the festival. Please welcome Nimisha Mukherjee and her project Tempest Storm Burlesque Queen. My name is Nimisha Mukherjee. I'm a documentary filmmaker currently based out of Toronto. My past credits include 65 Red Roses, which was officially selected for Oprah's Documentary Club and is currently being distributed by PBS International. But I'm here today to talk about my new documentary feature, which is called Tempest Storm Burlesque Queen. And it's about one of America's greatest sex icons. <laughs> At the age of 84, Tempest Storm likes to remind me that she was born on a leap year, which really makes her 22. <laughs> Tempest is internationally recognized as the queen of burlesque. This is a woman who dated Elvis, was mistress to JFK, and just recorded an album with Jack White from the White Stripes. Tempest has had an incredibly dramatic life. At the height of her career, she fell in love with an African-American singer. And the studios um, you know, threatened to take away her contract if she decided to go through with marrying him. And she did it anyways, and she lost her contract. And when the relationship fell apart after a few years, she made the choice to walk away from her family and continue performing. Today, she lives in Vegas alone, and she is staging a comeback show with a new generation of burlesque stars. But really, the heart of our, the heart of our story is about burlesque, uh, the heart of our story is about Tempest reconnecting with her family. We're currently in production on this film, and we have exclusive access to Tempest's story. Um, and I'd love to just show you a clip of some of the footage we've shot so far. Seeing is believing. So see for yourself why Tempest Storm is the biggest attraction in burlesque today. So big, we had to use widescreen to film Teaserama. People are more familiar with the word stripper, but I think exotic dancer sounds more classy. Some lady asked me once, I was in the market in the checkout counter. She walked up to me and she said, what color is your hair? I said, in your face, red. <laughs> I'm 85, and I was born on leap year. So actually, I'm only 22. It's amazing and a perfect example of how one can have a great career throughout their life. Yeah. Powerful men and attractive men sought her company. They would go to her shows. He was originally a blonde. Nobody knew that. Elvis. I was 29. He was 22. We dated for a year. I always say, well, I taught him everything he knew. Everybody says, you were the president of the United States? I said, he's a human being just like we are. He doesn't walk on water. If he was alive today, he would never get away with the things that he did. <laughs> there I could lose. Herb Jeffers was a big name singer. And Ralph Pearl was a big columnist here. He said, you got the world in your head. Don't blow it. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. They'll destroy your career. They don't allow those kind of marriages. And my manager that managed me, she never spoke to me again, which I've never been able to understand. To me, there was, there was no color line. I was born in Eastman, Georgia. I worked in the cotton fields. I came from a very poor family. I think I was 12, 12 or 13. I had made this white dress, and I wanted to go downtown to just walk around. And I went in to get an ice cream cone, and I walked out. And this sheriff's son that I had seen him in school, 
and he was in this car with, with this cab driver and two other guys. They grabbed me and put me in the car, and they took me up in the hills and raped me one by one. And then they said, if you tell anybody, we'll kill you. I think that's one reason I chose dancing, because I get unconditional love for my audience every time I walk out on that stage. My secret is I never smoked, I never drank, and I never did drugs. I'm so excited to meet you. Tempest Storm is my ultimate burlesque idol. She's just so amazing. I have been looking forward to this. I'm ready to cry right now. I just. <laughs> That's lovely there. Exactly there. That's our shot. I always wanted to be a class act. I put the tease back into strip tease. The man upstairs don't want me up there, and the devil gave up on me a long time ago, so I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> So Tempest Storm is a survivor. Throughout her life, she's been able to transform her pain into strength. When I met her for the first time in Vegas, I immediately fell in love with her, and I couldn't believe that her story hadn't been told before. Uh, and I signed on for the project. Um, right now, we today launched our crowdsourcing campaign on Kickstarter Canada. We really need to get back to filming at 85 years old. Time is of the essence. Um, so today, we'd really, you know, we're really here just hoping for support from Telefilm so that we can continue filming and get this film up on the big screen. Thank you.